one. In the diagram on the right, radius AB of the Ferris wheel is perpendicular to the tangent of the circle at this point. So we know that this one, the radius here is perpendicular to this tangent. Obviously, tangent is perpendicular from the center, right? Okay, so this one. So we have the point here. The equation of the tangent to the circle at point B is given as. So we have the equation of P. Find the equation of radius AB of the Ferris wheel. So here we know that. 3x plus 2y is equal to 48. So here y is equal to mx plus c. Then you can get your m. So 2y is equal to. So you bring to the back. 3x will become negative 3x plus 48. So now you want y. You divide everything with 2. So negative 3 over 2x plus 48 over 2. So here you get negative 3 over 2x plus 24. So we know that your m1 is negative 2. 3 over 2. So when it mentioned perpendicular, you know that m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So basically, this is your m1. So m2 is equal to, so m1 times m2 negative 1, m2 is equal to negative 1 divided by m1, which is equal to negative 1 divided by, so negative 3 over 2. So here you get, so here you get. 2 over 3 because you see here this one is negative negative and negative can be cancelled out so when you divide fraction you so it's actually 1 so divide with 3 over 2 is actually multiply 2 over 3 so this one or you can just directly uh, key in inside your calculator so is that you get 2 over 3 so you know that this line the gradient m2 is equal to 2 over 3 and we know that it's passing this at this point which is 8 12 now we can get the equation so y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. So this is a formula to use equation. You can also find this one but this one is quite long because you need to find your c first. But if you use this uh, formula, you can directly get the equation. So here you get, you have 8, 12, right? So we know that this one is x1, this one is y1. So y minus y1 is 12, m, our m just now is 2 over 3, so x minus x1 is equal to 8. So y minus 12 is equal to 2 over 3x, 2 over 3 times 8, 2 times 8 is 16 over 3. So y is equal to 2 over 3x, so negative 12 you bring to the right, you get negative 16 over 3, this one is plus 12. So the final answer I write here, y is equal to 2 over 3x. So negative 16. So here negative 16 over 3 plus 12. So here you get 20 over 3. So this one is you get 20 over 3. Alright. But you know that there is many ways for you to show uh, your equation instead of doing like this, you can also. So if you multiply with 3, everything with 3, you get you also get 3y is equal to 2x plus 20, 3y minus 2x is equal to 20. So this one is also acceptable. There is many ways, but basically, uh, when you get this one, I mean, if you change to the other version, it will still be the same one. Okay.